Sar presents Ramadan in Overport. Please note that the characters in this drama are fictitious and do not resemble any real life person or family and if so is pure coincidence. Ramadan in Overport is produced and directed by Sabra Sheikh Hasan narrated by Nishal Sarwan. Ramadan in Overport episode 3. Ramadan in Overport season 2 features four families who live in TK mansions. owned by Mr. Tahir Karim a self-absorbed megalomaniac flat 1 sees the jazzby family whose son's social ills see the family name dragged through the mud within the walls of flat 13 reside the ahmed family your pretty average couple with a daughter who's always the talk of the town flat 17 sees the karwa family a family steeped in the deen but are heavily afflicted by circumstances and finally the Ismail family of flat 21 each with their own issues a father who's just been paid out from his firm a nagging mother a son who can't be with his newly found soulmate and a deranged domestic who keeps helping herself to the fridge this ramadan will we see a change of heart things are looking pretty pear shaped in the ahmed family this morning Tension is thick at the suhoor table in flat 13 and Aziz isn't at all impressed with what Aisha has just shared with him about Alia. What? What did you just say? A boy. What boy? Not a boy, Aziz. He even looks too old to be a campus doll. He's not even someone we recognize. Have you asked her anything about this? Yes, of course, but you know how teenagers are. You ask them one thing and then they pull up their faces for the whole day. But that's no excuse, Aisha. Let her get up. And I warned you, Aisha. When you were growing her up, you spared the rod. You spoiled that child. Now look, all this crookedness is coming out now. You think it's Ramadan? She'd have bigger brains. Aziz, please, don't even let me suspect that you're putting the blame on me. Let me not start with your absent father role you played when she was growing up. Aisha, Aisha, tell me. Where you hope arguing will get us? I just dread to think if the neighbors have seen anything. What will they think? Mr and Mrs Amr got no control over their daughter. Ha! Too late for that. I bumped into Auntie Amina from flat number 17 and she asked me if Alia got a new lift club. You can only imagine how I had to cover up my shock. What? You mean to tell me the Anwar Bai's family knows what's going on? They are such learned people. I I don't believe this. Children these days, they don't think of the repercussions. Only YOLO YOLO. It's true though. You only love once. That doesn't justify messing up your life, Aisha. Allah should know better. What's the time? Shouldn't she be waking up now? Aziz, please just take it easy. It's Ramadan. Don't upset her so early in the morning. Just keep a level head. I'll go wake her up. Alia! Alia! Wake up. It's already quarter to 5. You'll have to rush and make suhoor. Hmm, I'm awake now. Alia, get up before your father starts. Okay, okay, I'm up. What's to eat? Toasted salami sandwiches. Come, come. Salams, Dad. Salam. Mom, I won't have tea. Please, can I have some coffee? Alia, Alia, your mother just told me about how you came home yesterday. What is this? Dad, I told mom it was just yesterday. I came home every other day with Uncle Zain. But mom thinks I'm lying. Do you want me to pull you out of campus, Alia? Why? Why would you do that? Because you're lying. You have no fikr. It's Ramadan for goodness sake. Alia, just tell us the truth. Yes, just the truth. Why are you coming home with some stranger? <sighs> just leave me alone. Grow up. Tantrums aren't going to work. Your father and I don't bend our back backwards so you can mess up your life. So far you've been so responsible. We've never had a problem with you. What got into you? Let her eat up. We'll deal with this when I get back from Johannesburg. In flat 2, Hawa Jazzby is just getting her things together for her holiday to Greytown. Unusual for her to take advice from her boys, but a much needed break will do her good. Ma, ma, where's my new pair of Levi's, man? What, Bilal? It's ironed and hanging in the cupboard. What you think it's in my cupboard? It's not here. I'm in a hurry. Bilal, I'm busy. You know I'm packing. So much to take. 
Looks like you're taking the whole freezer and grain. Leave some for us, how? I haven't seen my sister in two years, Bilal. It won't be nice if I go with little bit things. I'm sure Kala Jam prepared for Ramadan. She won't have space in her freezer for all your labashas. You know up country how they are big, big fridge and freezers. Space is never a problem. In walks Zakir. Don't forget about the families. Not three or four people. Eight to twelve per family. <laughs> That's why so much freezer space. Hey Zakir, I'm looking for my new Levi's. You saw it anywhere, bro? How would I know where your Levi's is? Check in the washing basket. I checked. Ma even said she ironed it, but I can't find it. I still don't believe how you boys bought me a ticket to Greytown. Delivered to my door too. Ma, you make it seem like we are horrific. We make mistakes like everyone else. Correction, Zakir. You'll make mistakes every single day. <laughs> okay, maybe, but still. Stop stealing my things, and then I'll decide whether you lot are any good or not. Ma, you're done packing. The bus is leaving in an hour. We still got to drop you off at the station. Come here. See what's in the fridge and freezer? Please eat nicely, Seri and Iftar time. And please, huh? No loitering outside the masjid. Go inside and read. Why are you stressed? We'll be fine. See, everything got instructions, so you'll know how to prepare. Please, huh? No takeout food. There's enough here. Okay, Ma, enough. Go finish packing. Zakir, which day the bin people come? Um, Friday. Wrong. Monday. So make sure the thrash is out and don't rot the place up. Wash the dishes after you'll use them. And if you'll need anything, Auntie Amina is upstairs. Right. Ten minutes and then we're out. Try not to forget your ticket, please. In flat 21, Mohammed Ismail has just gotten off the phone with his brother-in-law's financial advisor. Not happy at all this afternoon as the payout he has received from the firm is not market-related. Yasmin's been busy hemming another of Zakaria's kurtas. And Tandi? Tandi is around all right. Why do they have to make these kurtas so long? I don't know. You pay so much for them and still have to hem them after that. Well, madam, for years we've been doing it. What's a few more? But you used to do it before. I don't know how I ended up doing it. Who's the mother here? Me or you? <laughs> Tandy, you've always been so great with Zach. Is that your stomach, Tandy? That's what it sounds like, madam. I don't know how I, I let Monana talk me into fasting. And the fire you gave me makes me itch. Oh, Tandy, you'll get the hang of it. You know everything about Islam already. You've been with us forever. How happy my heart would be if we just took the Shahada. Well, madam, what's that? Just dropped up from the pockets. <gasps> Quickly, pick it up. Says 10 p.m., madam, and there's a cell phone number. He wore the skulta last night. In walks Mohammed. Yasmin, do you know how these people robbed me after years of giving my service? Mohammed, what are you going to do? You know how those people are. You give them your life for them, and they won't even think twice to throw a few rands at you and see you on your way. Yeah. But if they thought or think I was going to go quietly, they've got another thing coming. Hold that thought. Look what just fell out of Zach's pocket. It says 10 p.m. and there's a number also. Oh, are you two still going on about that? Why not just dial the number and see who answers? No! no! Big bus, you gotta be tactful. Isn't that a bit of a big word for you, Tandy? Well, nah, it's a delicate situation. Stop being dramatic, both of you. I'm sure that there's a logical explanation for this. We'll get to the bottom of this. Normally by now, Shabnam would have called. We haven't heard from her all week. Tomorrow, the Karwa ladies will be having their annual Ramadan Talim with the ladies of TK Mansions. Amina and Fatima, having shopped the day before, are hoping everything will be enough as they will be serving iftar for the ten or so ladies. Fatima, samosas, pakoras, fetes and halim should be enough, isn't it? For sweets, we can make some firni. I'm sure we won't put the whole tin of condensed milk, just enough and then we can substitute with sugar. Gee, mummy, that will be more than enough. And I can see downstairs they'll be giving Halim. So I'll go fetch some. We have a five litre bucket somewhere, I'm sure. Good idea, Fatima. I'll cook one tarkari also. You know, sometimes people like to eat food after Maghrib. And you can make some rotis. Two dozen or so should be enough. True, mum. 
Not everyone is like us. Some people also like normal food. I'll make one dozen white and one dozen brown roti. Some ladies are health conscious. Ha, brown is much healthier. But you know, as old ladies, we prefer our white roti. I wonder what topic Appa Farhana has chosen for tomorrow. Last year, she made the ladies so emotional. I hope this year will be a good one too. At least we don't have to worry about that. She knows her thing. I'll go take the danas out for zikr. Oh yeah, and don't forget to change the cushion covers. You know those ones Gorifoy brought from Morocco? Put those ones on. I know we only use them for eat, but they're so pretty. Okay, mummy. I think it's in the second bedroom cupboard. I think your father's back from Asr. How time just goes. Assalamu alaikum. How are my diamonds? Alhamdulillah, Daddy. You're in a lovely mood, mashallah. Amina, Fatima, Allah is too kind. Tahir Kareem just spoke to me. He'll give us extension on this month's rent. Shukran, Alhamdulillah, Anwar. Allah is most merciful. Now at least you can relax. How you came back home? Molana dropped me off. I invited him for iftar. He'll come back just now. He just went to do door for tonight. And then tomorrow night after Asr to Maghrib, we have the halka. He's a very nice man. Always respectable. Anwar, we must see for a nice girl for Molana. He says he already has someone in mind, but he won't rush into it now. Maybe after Ramadan, he'll go speak to the father, he said. That's a very lucky girl. Inshallah, things work out for him. Mom, let's finish filling these samosas, then I can go and look for those cushion covers. Just now, Hafiz Wadi will start reading the dua before iftar. Ramadan in Overport, Season 2. Produced and directed by Sabra Sheikh Esab. Compiled and narrated by Nishal Sarwan. Ramadan in Overport, Season 2 is a proud production of Radio Al Ansar. Zakir, played by Shiraz Sheikh. Hawa, played by Asya Emod. Aziz, played by Yasin Khan. Aisha by Shazia Kathri, Ahlia by Sakina Essen, Mariam played by Cassandra Zungu, Anwar Bhai played by Shiraz Basa, Amina played by Aisha Ismail, Fatima played by Fatima Khan, Molana Saluji played by Kari Kaki, Mohammed played by Arif Saib, Yasmin played by Sauda Basa, Tandi by Tobeka Njapa, Zakaria played by Yusuf Syed. Ramadan in Overport, Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays at 6.30pm.